So now coming to the uh, discussion about the principle of transformer action. We all know that a transfer works on the principle of mutual magnetic induction. According to this principle, the, is that when EMF is induced in a coil, if it is linking with the changing flux, we know this formula that E is equal to d phi by dt. This formula. What it says, it is the it is in context with the uh, electromagnetic induction principle by Faraday's, which says that EMF is generated in a coil if it is linking with the changing flux. So that is why this is one of the biggest reasons that uh, a transform works on AC, not on DC. Second thing is that in when in very general, if I say this thing which we already know, this is again a transformer. It is having a primary coil, it is having a secondary coil also. My primary is connected to the supply. And my secondary is connected to the load. So, the transformer is now connected to the, to the primary. So, this is an alternating voltage. AC, EMF is there, voltage is there. This voltage is producing a current in this wiring. Because of this wiring, current and EMF is set up. Sorry, yeah, flux is set up. Flux phi 1 is set up over here, which is passing through this magnetic path, this which is a CRG or whatever with the uh, conductor material, uh, core material. It is linking with this the secondary coil. And if this secondary is connected to the load, then since according to this formula, if phi is a changing phi, since my EMF is if my primary coil is, is having a uh, supply from AC, which is an alternating kind, it will be of this form, but of this my flux phi will be of the same form in this manner. Suppose but this is getting linked with the secondary bit through this path and according to this formula and EMF E2 will be generated in the secondary coil and if the load circuit is connected then because of this EMF E2 a current I2 will start getting thrown in the load circuit and the, if this is E1 here, I1 here, E2, I2 so mathematically I, I can say that so uh, already we have said one thing that it is a uh, electromagnetic static device which can uh, which transforms uh, electrical power from one circuit to another circuit by means of mutual inductance. From one circuit to another circuit, what is getting transferred is the power exactly, which is called E V. Or oh, sorry, E into I. We have already studied one formula P is equals to Vi in the lower classes, that is power is equal to voltage into current. It is the same formula, this is the power from the uh, from one side, this is the power on the second side. If I say that E1, V1, E2, I2, then this is the total power which is getting transformed from one circuit to the another circuit. Or we can say that E2 by E1 is equal to I2 by I1 which is equal to N2 by N1 which is equal to K. This is the formula mathematically which says that the ratio of the secondary voltage to the primary voltage 
is is like i1 by i2 is equals to n2 by m1 which is equals to the transformer ratio which is k where 1 and 2 are subset for 1 is for primary 2 is for secondary and n1 and n2 are the turns ratio from <coughs> secondary to <coughs> primary sorry now coming to what exactly we have discussed all these things about the transformers but we have not discussed the exact condition of an ideal transformer what should be the ideal transformer now we will discuss about the ideal conditions of the transformer what are those what are the exact conditions of to of a transformer to be ideal one. First of all, there should be no winding resistance. Second very important point is that there should be no leakage flux. What does this mean? No leakage flux. No leakage flux means that there's the, all the uh, flux which is getting produced in the primary winding is confined to the secondary winding without any loss. Third thing is that no core losses. No core losses means no eddy current losses, no hysteresis losses. Okay. The fourth one is that constant permeability core. The permeability of the core should not fluctuate. It should have the constant magnetizing curve. Which this constant permeability course can also be said that it should have constant magnetizing curve. Or in another, another language, linear magnetizing curve, which is normal to all the we know the uh, we know about the magnetizing curve. If somebody knows, doesn't know, if I, I tell you. Magnetized line curve this, this one thing, we have studied this thing, VH curve of the uh, any material, VH curve of the any material, we know this thing. Okay, uh, fifth and very important point which is not known by everyone is this is a very important point uh, regarding uh, gate examinations, again, all the all type of examinations that the exciting current should be zero. The exciting current should be zero. This is a very, very important point regarding gate examination. So, all the five points are described about the ideal transformer. Once again, uh, no winding resistance that the resistance of the winding should be negligible. The second point is no leakage flux. It means that there should not any flux which is getting uh, away from the core. Third point is there should not be any core losses. It means that uh, it should have, uh, it should not have exactly uh, the uh, distresses losses as well as eddy current losses. The fourth point is that the constant magnetizing curve or the linear magnetizing curve, the constant permeability core. And the fifth and very important point is the exciting current should be zero. This is the way an ideal transformer is described. We will see now the EMF equation of a transformer.
aim of the equation of the transformer. Uh, rather than going into the, uh, the derivation of EMF equation, we all know this thing. I will simply write E is equal to 4.44 what? F and B A. What are what is what we all know, but I will explain or I can write this way also 4.44 F and 5. This is 5 max again, and this is B max. If somebody doesn't understand, then I can explain this way 5 is equals to B into A. You know this thing, you just study this formula. Okay. What is what over here? 4.44 is coming because of uh, your form factor, and apart from that, is E is E2 per phase if it is three phase transformer. Right now, I'm talking about single phase transformer, and it is E only which is getting generated in either of the uh, windings. 4.44 F is the frequency of the AC supply, and is the number of turns regarding to that. If it is E1, then it is 1, this is 2, this is 2. Max, phi max is the total maximum flux density of the core. So this is the total formula regarding the transformer. Coming this to this thing, V max is the flux density and A is the area of the core. So now we are known with the EMF equation of the transformer. One more thing comes in some mind the if if I see about to this circuit exactly or to the uh, equation, I'll see this thing that here and B A. If I see 4.44 is a constant, F for a given supply is also a constant, N is also a constant. Okay, B is also area is also a constant. So E is directly proportional to your phi. So, I can say this thing another way, if your frequency F is not constant, I can say E is equals to V by F. If my frequency is not constant, then I can say that my phi is equal to V by F or E is equal to phi into F. This is a very important formula. E is directly proportional to flux into the frequency. This is the just uh, an uh, overview of this formula. When we will be studying about the uh, hysteresis losses as well as the core losses, we will understand this formula in a detail. Mm-hmm. <clears throat>